What's going on, Gamer Nation? Stephen Thomas here with a new series. Excited? I am. Some of you are probably like, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, Stephen? Well, Stephen's doing this because I'm actually enjoying this game. I enjoyed it on stream the other night, and I think that us making our own team and doing a manager career from League 2 and trying to build our way up to the Premier League, I don't know how long this will last. That will depend on your support. If you like this idea, you know, there's a thumbs up button down there. You should hit that. Uh, but we're going to make a manager and we're going to create a team. Now on stream, we created Kentucky FC, which was KFC. I'm actually going to stay more British on this one. And we're going to, since we'll be playing in the Premier League, I'm going to make the team known as Sir Francis Drake FC. We'll have to shorten it, obviously, because Sir Francis Drake doesn't fit. Drake FC can be on there but it'll probably be Francis Drake. I'm very excited about this and I'm excited about what type of team we're gonna have. And some of the early stages of signing free agents will be similar to what if you watched on stream, but if you're new to the channel and not uh, watching the stream, first you need to hit the sub button down here and then you need to go check out the stream on Twitch. But without further ado, let me create ourselves and I'll get to the team creation. All right, we've got our manager created. He is ready to go. We just got to get him a team to be in control of. All right, beginning stuff done. Team name or club name, Sir Francis Drake. We don't have a nickname. I thought about putting Raiders, but it's just generic, so I'm not going to do that. Short name is Drake FC, and then our abbreviation is obviously, I always mess this up. I put a C there. I want to put D for Sir Francis Drake. All right, in England, you have four levels in this game. We have Premier League, EFL Championship, League One, and then League Two. We're going to be League Two and try to work our way up. So. Gonna go in here. I'm just gonna check the standings right now and see who the last place team is, and that's who we're gonna replace. Whoever is first place will be the next part, our rival. All right, Odom Athletic is last place right now by one point over Scunthorpe. So I'll, I did think about getting rid of Scunthorpe, but I'll leave them. Fair is fair. Odom Athletic right now is last place, so they're gone. Our rival, it looks like that Forest Green is way out in front, so we will make them our rival. How long that lasts, who knows. I'm going to design some kits and stuff now, and a crest. I already know what crest I want to do. I'll just go ahead and show you this. I think that the primary color on it will be like maybe this green, and it's down here at the bottom. And obviously with Sir Francis Drake, we want a ship. Though, I may want to change that color, maybe to a light blue. That's ah, a lot of blue on that. Let's let's put a maybe some purple on it. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good. Though, I'm interested in what black would look like on it. Oh. Brown and black, though, kind of clashing. Maybe just some white. The white looks nice, but I really liked, I really liked some color to it. Yeah, too much blue there. The purple was a good contrast, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. The green and purple looks really good on that. So that's going to be our crest. I just wanted to show you all that so you would know up front. Stadium. I won't show it to you, but I'm just going to tell you, we're going to have one of the smaller stadiums, nine or 10,000 people, and we're going to call it the Privateers Hold. That's going to be our home stadium. And then I'll show you the kits when I get done. All right, home kits for this season. I'll let you all do some input on the future ones because there's a ton on here. We're just going to go with the basic green. Our secondary and tertiary colors are like a dark navy blue, obviously navy. But I do like the green just being a little bit different. Um, white lettering on these. I did think about going with the dark blue lettering, but... I think leaving it white would probably be better, though I do like that. I just wish you could put a little outline. I may change that, but right now, this is the way our home kits are gonna look. All right, away kits are quite the opposite. We're really using that royal blue color on white. And I like the basicness of this, where the sleeves and the shorts and our socks are a color. It's very different looking, and it's very contrasting to what we have on the home kits but we utilize our team colors of that lighter green and the dark navy blue. Uh, with that said though, I do kind of think that maybe on the crest, and I said that I may do this, we don't have the dark blue to go to here. 
which kind of makes me sad because when I look at this, but that does look really good, that green and blue. So I think we'll leave the kit like that and put that blue in there. So we have a blue across the board. We've got blue, navy blue seating in privateer's hold. It's also got like American football lines on there to drive people crazy. Very excited about that. Let's go look at the squad. All right, looking at our squad, we are going to be a half star squad starting off. We'll obviously have to live off free agents and our youth. Now, there was a big patch that just dropped for this game, and it's supposed to have fixed everything. There was problems with the youth coming up and everything. It's EA. What do you expect? But hopefully this helps out. A lot of the youth people had some issues um, with arms and just their numbers didn't show on the kits and things like that. So I'm hoping that fixes. We are going to be a very young team. Now, one thing I do need to think about is changing. And you can see a half star team. We're going to have a lot of people in the 50s. And, and that's fine. We're going to work up from there. Um, is usually I toy with this until I get the formation I want because then you have players that you can utilize. So I'll probably do this and see what we come up with who will be our starting squad and then we'll go through the rest of the stuff. All right, so I think this is what we're going to go to. This is like a 4-3-2-1, I want to say. I like wingers, though eventually I may want to move those out. But right now, we're, with us being such a young team, this has two strong center backs with uh, Bentley and Force, Forsyth. Horse, I would say 62, 63 midfield. Two of the three are in the sixties. That's really good. They um, look strong for a half star team. So I'm curious about what the issue will be once we get in there. A 64 striker seems amazing, but I don't know. This team looks really good for being a half star. I'm going to stick with them. We're going to be very young. Our transfer budget is obviously going to be as small as we can go. A million dollars. We're not going to have a lot. Board expectations. Probably small club. Everything's very low to start out. Youth is obviously going to be better. Financial is going to be a big thing. Uh, youth focus would also be the other one, but critical ones can get you in trouble. So we're very we're starting out small club. Obviously, in year two, they will change all this up. But for right now, this is what we're going to go with. And then we'll look at the career settings. We're going to go legendary difficulty, four minute length halves. Everything else is set the way that it normally is. I can always up the difficulty later on if we need to but i've i'm a little rusty and still learning a lot of the stuff back so i think this will be fine a here we go coach stephen thomas his first interview with the team manager. and he looks very dapper very dapper it's his own little custom jersey i like it i like it i like it you all really sold me on the green during the actual uh stream when we did this None of these tournaments matter. I may play one of the matches just to see. Uh, this one over here, the European International, has the most money in it. There's a chance to play Dortmund, though. We have Spanish teams. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do the European Shield. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any success in that. Obviously, it's going to be rough. But now we're here. We can get a look, good look at the team and all the stuff that we need to do. So looking at our males, they're just, uh, we have Real Sociedad, uh, Mirandez, and Mio Vini. So that's a tough group. Probably not going to make it out of that, but we'll see. Transfer market, windows open, we know that. Youth Academy report, we're going to have to work on that. I'm going to hire more scouts and send them out. Here's our visions. Let's see what they've set up for us. Uh, looks like youth development is medium. Two seasons have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season and play 30% of the games in the next season. So that means this year we've got to sign a good youth person and then bring him up and let him play. Get a streak of five games without defeat in home matches. Maybe, maybe ties are possible at this level. So no objectives there. They'd like for us to, in our league, finish in the top half. That's That makes sense. And then when the FA Cup rolls around, they want us to make it to the knockout round. That's debatable, and it depends on who we can sign. In financial, they want me to make $5.9 million profit at the end of the first transfer. The first transfer window? I don't know if we can do that one. That's, that's rough. All right, the first scout report is usually just people that are playing on other teams. Wimbledon, yeah, a lot of these guys were probably... Not going to get these. We're going to update what we want our scouts to look for. And we'll do that in a minute. 
Uh, introductions, GTN scouts. Yeah, right now we've got Hugh is scouting in England, which makes sense. Morgan, at least we have three star scouts. Now, where are they? He is in Sweden, and this other guy's nowhere. I want to relocate this guy. We will send him Brazil and look at players there that maybe want to jump up. I don't like these scouts at first, but I am going to kind of change their what they're going for because if you look down there, Pacey, prolific, 16 to 50 years old. Yeah, it's not really going to help us. So. Uh, we need to really change this and set it up for what our team needs. All right, so coming in here and looking at my scouts, we've got the three three scar scouts. These guys look for players that are already playing and part of leagues. So I've got them in England, Brazil, and I forgot the other guys just to scout for us when we need him. Uh, if you send them all off, you're not going to be able to target and scout players. But pretty much I've got them looking for young people that are promising you know, these are players that maybe sit in the bench and maybe we can get them from another team and bring them in. Any position, first team quality. Again, I set the contract on this one to very low, so maybe they can find players that are getting ready to leave their contract and we can catch them at the end for cheaper. And then tall defensive-minded players. This is targeted for people a little bit older because we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to live off elders in the league for a while until we establish ourselves and we can bring youngsters in. Speaking of Jump into our Youth Academy report, which we're getting ready to put some money in. That's going to be our first investment. It says there in that middle paragraph, on our own initial analysis, we feel that Carl Lehman is outstanding, or in particular has outstanding ability and potential to become a world-class footballer. They always kind of hand you one guy that's going to be really good. So let's see what we have in the youth. He is a, oh, a center forward. So that's nice. So we've got a goalkeeper here who is 16, 15, Ben Mitchell, Wow, he is awful. There's no way he's going to come out. I'm going to release this guy. Anybody in the 50s seems okay. I know he was 15. He's not going to grow that much. Uh, and we got Haruki Mazaki here. And here's that Carl Lehman. He's out of Germany. He has the potential maybe to be amazing striker. Sprint speed needs to come up. Aggression, attack. What is his, his shooting is 47. So on his development plan, I'll just show you this and then I'll set the other ones up, is we obviously want to get his shooting up. So we're going to train him for Bombardier. That's going to take three weeks. And then we'll start working on some other things. We may be bringing him up as a, as a help to our, whatever we set up on our tactics. Uh, Mazazaki, again, these guys, they really I got to get their shooting up if they're going to play forward. That's just the way it is. Pablo Bravo. I love his name. And I really like that he has three-star skill moves. I think we'll be bringing him up soon. We need to make him a inverted wide midfielder. That actually, yeah, get his shooting up a little bit. He'll probably be on the team as soon as he gets of age. And then we got a goalkeeper here who's just going to need help. And his positioning is 30. So we've got to get that up or he's going to be a waste. All right. So our four people we kept on the youth team, we'll see how they grow over the years or over the months, excuse me. Our youth staff, I think we've got one person. We do need to hire two more. So... We're not we're 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 not even a one star, so we're gonna have to take the cheapy cheeps. We'll get Anto Borovovich here. We'll hire him. And then we're also gonna hire who's the other cheap one? Leon Vinstra from the Netherlands. Cool. Alright, so we will set them up in scouting networks. Obviously, Harvey, we're gonna send him to England for six months. And I want him to look up any. Uh, Anto Vrankovic. I'm going to send him to Nigeria. For three months. And I want him to find some playmakers. So some midfielders. And then our last guy. Leon. I'm going to send him to Germany. Or Belgium. Either one would be good. Actually, all of this area is really good. 
let's send him to Germany for three months and look for me some physically strong Germans. All right. Instead of setting up the scouting networks, your youth investment's really worth it. Now, looking at our team here, the first thing I look at is on development. Who is already topped out? So one of our better cornerbacks has already hit his potential. So he'll never get higher than 63. And it looks like Reese Hart at 63, one of our forwards, is already capped. That's not bad. Now, some of them are probably really close, but that's fine. I'll go through here off screen and set up all their training regimens. Some of these people that are, their overalls are very low. I will try, I will put them on the loan list just immediately, especially these ones that are prospects, uh, because I don't think we'll be utilizing them. Though I see Pratt there, and I am worried that Pratt is our starting right winger. No, surely we'll put somebody else over there that can play that spot. But yeah, I'll set this all up after this dude's got amazing hair after we look at what tactics we're going to utilize it is a 4321 i may set up a new team sheet cuz i really like to utilize this but sometimes i like the 4 4411 four, or play but you know we may try this cuz with the wingers i'm excited but yeah bowman out there is a liability I'm going to go through the players, look and see what they got. Um, obviously, identify if we have any like super talented people that have amazing skill sets. Like our striker has a two star skill move. That's going to be rough. Not going to be able to do a lot. And I'd say he's pretty close to capping out his abilities. But we have to take what we can get here starting out. His pace is only 69. Again, we're in League 2. It's going to be a while. So I'm going to go through here, weed out everybody, and uh, I'll return when I get to a point where I feel like I've got stuff documented enough to start looking at free agents. Oh, remember that part where I said this was a pretty decent team? That's by numbers only. I've moved a few people around. I moved Reed from here. Him and Graham switch positions because Reed, the way I've got the tactics set up, he's a better defender than Graham is. The biggest problem we're going to run into is we have absolutely nobody on our team that has skill moves of three or above. So that desperately limits us, which I'm not that good at skill moves, but it does limit us to things we can do. There's also a number of players like Hart up here. I've made a list. He's done growing. And then one of our center backs forces our best one. He is done growing. So, and as for center backs, we are very thin. Our bench is trash. All the numbers are on the players on the field. If any of them get hurt or any of them step out, they're done. I've already got three that I want to sell. Hutch, this goalkeeper, he's useless. Going to sell him. Uh, Fallon. Just going through here. This center back, he is almost capped out. Actually, I think his stats are going down. Getting rid of him. And then our backup striker, of all things, Devlin, he is getting ready to fade. He's almost capped out at 52, so I'm going to try to sell him before people realize that. Um, but that means that we're definitely going to have to bring in a backup striker. We definitely need a couple of center backs. Uh, some of the youngsters that do show promise, though. Elliot, the CM, I think we could loan him out, and he will do well. Uh, Ka, uh, right wing back, I think we could loan him out, and he'll grow. And then my other one on my list is Douglas. Am I blind? Oh, there he is. Uh, the center forward. I I think we can loan him out. and He's got a tremendous amount of, of the growth. He does have three skill moves, but. Ooh, Collier has four. I swear I looked on the other screen here. Why did I not like Collier? There's something about him. It may be he's just slow, but OK, so we got one person with four, but he's not a starter. And if we get, we'll, we'll need to get another center mid. But some of these players do need to be listed. We need to clean them off. Our goalkeeper is okay. He's very slow. But other than that, uh, let me go here and make sure I didn't lie. Oh, Elliot. Four stars. 
So we do have two people with Elliot and Collier, but Elliot, I want to loan him out, get him some, he's a little wet behind the ears. So let me check. Maybe I was looking at the wrong thing on Squad Hub because I feel like I'm dumb now. Go down through here. Elliot is 18. So a year away would probably help him. He's maxed out on some of his stats. So see, so you can see like the, the minus bar there. That means it'll never go up. So he can, he's going to grow a little bit, but not a lot. But honestly, with this passing, he may be able to open. Collier may be somebody we can rely on, but we got to get him to grow. So I'm a believer in him now. I, I really didn't understand that. Uh, I'm going to write him down. Because uh, having one person that maybe could come in as a sub and open the gate would help. But looking at our squad, I'm going to list all those players. And I think that we really need to find a, we got some speed on the wings. That's good. But we're, we need to work on depth. So I will go to free agency and search and look at them. And I'm going to list these players that we plan on selling. And then we'll see what kind of response we get. All right. So on our short list, I've added a number of players. One I've already messed up on, just so you all know. This striker out of Hungary, he's a youngster. I wanted to scout him, but evidently I hit the wrong button. So we're not going to be able to do that. There are some other players that I feel we do need to scout just to make sure. Obviously, we need to start on the back end. Kevin Kalua, or Kelvin Kalua, excuse me. Start scouting him. McGowan will scout him. Jamal starts scouting him. I really wish, I hope that opens back up and we could look at him again. We do need some forwards. I always scout the youngsters first because I'd like to see what they bring to the table. I don't think we could scout all of these players, but maybe we can. But even with that, I think we've got enough. There was a few older people, but I think we, especially with these center backs, we could fill some holes. I really wanted to look at that striker. I screwed that up. Maybe there's another free agency uh, striker that I won't screw up this time. Because for him being a youngster and just thrown on there, I feel like he's probably really good. Yeah, our staff is busy. We can't really scout anybody else. I'll put some of these other youngers. And then we'll look at them. Mitchell Duke could be an option. I think he may be too good for us, but we'll just have to see what we have and uh, go from there. I'm hoping we have time to check out the youth. Oh, I do need to list these players and see what kind of responses we get from them. They're probably not gonna be happy. All right, all that's set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do some training and we'll wait for some messages to come in and then uh, I'll meet you back here. All right, so we're already up to the European Shield and we got Mirandez up here. I don't know what to expect. From this team like i said we don't have a lot of player players but we're going to go in here and see if we can put something together we've been training a little bit but the calendar for this month rolled on pretty quick all these games are all bunched up to see if we go to the next round and then if we don't make it through which this first game will tell a lot we're going to get war up war out from this one and uh yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. But let's get right to it. First game with Sir Francis Drake, FC. All right, here we go. We're playing at Stadio. Oh, man, this we had to travel for this. My name is Derek Ray. Excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me... I'm interested to see how this team plays. We've got a little bit of ball movement already down the side. We'll let Norris... Let's see if we can keep that. We don't. We'll get a throw in here. No clue on that one. I know that's not the direction I pointed it. They're going to go down the side here. Vincent's got it. He was on side somehow. Letic pushing in here, and they got, they're already behind. And we're going to clear that out, thankfully. I want to found the box. Mesker got it again. A little tiki taka. They'll play it in and we just watch it. They'll drop it back out. 
And we'll clear that out of danger. We're just trying to get some room here. We tried to go through and we just couldn't make the play. Now they're going to come back. 26 minutes in. Not much happening here. They're going to try to play this one down. They'll hit Vincent. Going well. Help coming in. And the keeper, Harvey, will have his first touch. They get a free kick after the handball. <clears throat> we'll clear, we'll clear that out. <clears throat> they may have a play here. Wait down the sideline. Oh, and he's going to break away. This is great. More opportunity here. We'll give it away. Bad passing up front from us. <clears throat> we're going to try again, and we're going to just let them come through with it. Keeper punches it, and then he'll collect. And that'll take us to halftime. A little bit of excitement on the defensive end, but nobody's budged yet. Remember, these are preseason friendlies, so we're just trying to figure out the team here. But I thought it'd be a good way to showcase the team. And a good move on the side here. We've got Hart. Hart looking. Hart trying to clear out some ways. And we passed. Oh! And we'll take a good shot, and somehow it squeezed through, but it is blocked by the keeper. Corner to come. Is that Graham that got a hold of that one? I think it just slid right through there. Trying to deliver it accurately. And they're going to get out of here, it looks like. And they're going to have a good chance to cross here. And bring in more help, and they get an open shot and a goal. And that will put them up 1-0. The movement across the box. I brought an extra defender in to help, but it didn't matter. No one out there marking. And here on the road, we'll go down 1-0. Yeah, there's nobody there. That was a perfect shot. Near post. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. See if we can get something here, though. Oh! No call. Have a word, ref. We're looking. We're looking. Trying to find something. Graham looking around, and he loses the ball. Tried to get cute. And here's a through ball. Oh, and it's just over. Hart had the chance. And that may be the last one we get. Oh, just, just off. The so four minutes to play. We, we're down one nil. Probably not going to get another chance like that. They'll get a corner. We're in extra time, so they'll definitely take... They're going to play it short. Makes sense. Maybe a chance to add on an extra one here. He'll go wide. And that's going to be it. We're not going to have a chance to respond. We'll lose our first preseason game 1-0. Had a couple of chances, just didn't make them count. You've got to capitalize on your chances. And we just didn't do that. 79% pass accuracy. That's really low. Shot accuracy. We had three shots. They had three shots. The difference is, is they made one. Uh, we had, we played almost equal to them. We just didn't have a chance to uh, respond. That's just what happens. The plan. So. If you're interested in anything that you've seen there in this video, hit the like button. Leave me some comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. And don't forget to make 
Good decisions. Great thanks to these January New Year's Patreons. If they were my income taxes, I would do them and then cry myself to sleep. Kirkland Thomas, Critias, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, and Party Commissar.